My name's Lucy Hedges and I'm here at the IAA Mobility Show in Munich where it's no secret that Qualcomm plays a pretty significant role when it comes to shaping the future of driving and the Snapdragon digital chassis concept car is a testament to that. So to take me through this unbelievably cool concept and all the tech that comes along with it, I'm about to be joined by Enrico Salvatore from Qualcomm. The automotive industry is undergoing quite a huge transformation at the moment. So, would you mind talking me through some of the trends that you see that are shaping this? First of all, the electrification of the car. That has been the opportunity for the automakers to redesign mm -hmm. the car, the chassis, all the components, and in particular the digital part of the car, mm -hmm. the digital components that are bringing new features, new performance, and that's where we contribute. Yes. We provide what we call the digital chassis, that's the product, that is really intercepting this uh, opportunity. Yeah. Of course, there are more elements that are driving the innovation mm -hmm. or the transformation, like uh, the software, like the connectivity, the 5G and vehicle to whatever, so V2X and AI. Talk to me about how Qualcomm is working within the industry to help facilitate and support these, these changes. We worked hard uh, in the past in terms of R&D, developing mm -hmm. the technology yes. that is coming also from our experience in the smartphone, but then building on top of that the technology in terms of connectivity, modem, processor, GPU, all the ingredients to make available also for other industries. Yes. In particular here at uh, uh, in Munich, we are presenting what is the impact on automotive. Mm -hmm. So all the ingredients coming taking the technology hardware and software to the next level, yes. enabling enabling a new user experience in the cabin, enabling new feature set, and new performance, but also going forward with the ADAS, so yes. autonomous driving. All right, I can't wait any longer. You need to give me the tour. The car is too cool to be standing outside. <laughs> Let's go in this great car. Okay, right, I'm taking the driver's seat. <laughs> We're sitting inside what can only be described as an unbelievably cool concept, which I know is packed to the hilt with all kinds of innovative tech. So talk to me about that and you know what this really means for the future of cars. Concept car by Qualcomm for us is a super important showcase because we can prove what can be done with the technology we yes. offer. And we are putting latest and greatest feature set, hardware and software all in the same vehicle. So First of all, we are in, inside the car, in the cabin, so you can see the cockpit experience, what can be done in terms of entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, audio, video, video streaming, performance. Uh, of course, uh, this car is connected, so telematics, connected mm -hmm. with the 5G, with the network. Uh, this car is also uh, with, equipped with the ADAS, so yes. that uh, you can have all the sensors, the camera, uh, connected to drive the car uh, in, in an autonomous way. Of course, this is a concept mm -hmm, car, of course. It's a commercial vehicle. <laughs> now, we cannot talk cars without talking about AI. I want to know how you see AI being used in the auto industry. From one side, AI is uh, making a step forward on what we already provide with the digital uh, personal assistant, mm -hmm. because you can have a, a richer, performance yes. in terms of information but also in terms of uh, correlating data position the driver can point to the building what the building about and then the ai can yes. understand where you're pointing with the camera there is also the other bucket that is the ai for adas adas is uh, already in terms of performance requesting ai mm -hmm. because the computer vision that is big part of adas so the camera that uh, in the sense of the, the, the car needs to have in order to understand the, the real physical world and matching with the digital world yeah. is based on uh, uh, machine learning that requires AI processor, mm -hmm. requires AI hardware platform. So that is a uh, development already ongoing, but with this uh, big excitement of AI, uh, we see an acceleration in developing those kind of platforms that are already part of our roadmap. So now I've got a question um, from Qualcomm's online audience. Yes. They are burning, they're dying to know. Um, is there going to be a time when they can call for a car to come and collect them, take them to where they need to go, but they do not need to own the car? So from a technology perspective, is this something that could one day be possible? I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? Possible from the technology perspective, or let's say, uh, you are talking about what is the robotaxi, if you like. Yes. Because the robotaxi is a technology that we are developing already. So it is possible to combine AI, uh, 
EDAS performance with the maps and with the autonomous driving by the car. So that is, I wouldn't say science fiction, mm. that is more a matter yes. of uh, implementing and also regulatory, because uh, yeah, it's course. important to have uh, uh, the rules to, to make those cars around. Yes. But also here at the show, I, I saw many booths presenting uh, idea concept uh, concept like our car for robot taxi. So I would say answering the, to the audience, yes, definitely it, it is possible, but it's coming, I would say even sooner than expected. I know you're a busy man. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. The future is exciting, so watch this space.